All right, guys, my dad used to always say better late than never, uh, except in the case when you're having too many children, then it's better that it never happens. But we're here with an event video, and of course, I got Scotty, the mastermind behind all the math. And we're talking about the events that are coming up, uh, some that are starting on the 26th, which, I, what is that, tomorrow? No, that's far away no. from now. <laughs> it's very far away from now. So we are, we're currently already blitzing. We have more events coming up that Scotty's going to talk us through that kind of uh, are going to just add on to what we're already doing for blitzes. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into it. Scotty, you want to say hello? Hello, everybody. There we go. All right, let's go. All right, so before we get into the fun stuff that we care about the most, let's talk about our weekly side quests. So an important announcement, Chromebooks will no longer be supported as soon as they hit the next patch. We got a Colson Blitz on the 23rd. We got Mojo's Mayhem Season 28. Scotty's cutting it out super rudely, but it's going to have Nakia shards in there. We have an XP Throttle on the 27th. We got Back to Boot Camp on the 27th as well, and Block Party to finish off our weekly side quests. Anything here you're excited for? Uh, no, not really. No, I, it's like Nakia shards, cool, but I got to spend the money. Back to Boot Camp, training materials it can be nice. Block Party, T4s, but not a meaningful amount, so... Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm with you. Not very excited about this stuff. Uh, and then we got a couple more boring stuff, but I made a slide for it, so I want to do it, give it its own thing. All right, so this should have been on the weekly side quest. We also are going to have a quick rumble, the explosive offense featuring your unlimited X-Men tag. Uh, nothing changed with the quick rumble. Like, right, Scotty? It's still pretty easy as long as you have the team built. Correct. I think right. most people have unlimited at this point, but you might have to blitz harder if you don't have them, you know, with a lot of uh work on them yet yeah hopefully you have them built uh and also if you don't have rogue unlocked her her scourge is starting this week as well so you'll be able to get in there and unlock her at the very worst so now let's talk about the uh the the, the fun stuff the yeah. the expensive stuff all right so we'll start this off by talking about the sim soldier uh, milestone. You're going to find these milestones on the web store. This one feeds into the other one. So, Scotty, what do we got to do to maximize this milestone, and what do we got to do to get the, the bare minimum of what we want to feed into the next one? Well, I hope you're all not tired of blitzing, because you got to blitz again. Not as much, but um, it is a seven-day blitz event that unfortunately is not going to be over in a day. Um, so it's all about blitz credits. So based on the average of 15 per win, um, that's looking at getting like 38 wins per rotation. If you have, you know, that, that team build, um, you have to at least do five rotations <clears throat> a day for seven days. Obviously, if you get lucky with blitz credits, maybe you get one of those like a hundred drops, 200 drops per rotation. That's going to help. But, you know, worst case scenario, you're looking at five rotations for seven days. Oof. Yeah. Uh, and also, if you're watching this right now, you know, blitz check. Make sure you're getting your blitz rotation in for the current blitz event. It'll lead into the next blitz event. And the beatings will continue until morale increases. Uh, okay. So about five rotations to max this one out. And this is pretty important for the next milestone, right? It is. Because this is what's going to give you symbiote samples, which you really need for the symbiote sabotage milestone. So it is going to be really, really important that you complete the web milestone. All right, let's go talk about the symbiote sabotage milestone then. All right, so we got the symbiote sabotage milestone. It's kind of nice. They This would be what I used to call the main milestone, and they'd have two events feeding into it. This time it's just one event feeding into it, and they added an additional uh, point capture i guess for this uh so this one's going to be playing your war battles spending power cores and collecting your symbiote samples that scotty was talking about previously uh this is apparently the agent venom release method there is 180 shards total i blew up over the peggy carter <laughs> release method and that turned out to be silly because she was an easy unlock scotty please tell me that agent venom is also an easy unlock even though at first glance it doesn't look to be the case uh, I wouldn't say easy. Um, All right, I quit I the Envoy program again. I'm not even in it anymore, and I got to quit again. Here we go. Sorry, go ahead. So he's a 100 shard unlock, and unfortunately to get the 100 shards from this event alone. So 
maybe there's going to be like a free claim thing. Who knows if they're going to have something else with his shards in it. But like if this is all we have, um, unfortunately, when we normally like break this down and it's basically just getting to the monthly event items, which is the Walker shield and the justice medals, that actually doesn't get you the unlock on him. Um, so you have to take it a little bit further. Right, so that was also the case with Peggy. You had to get the next milestone to get her unlocked to get that 100, uh, and that was only an additional 2 million gold. How much additional resources, I guess in this case it's going to be power cores, will you have to spend to get those 100 shards on Agent Venom? Um, so if you were only going, like for the monthly items, you easily could do it just with war attacks um, and just the web milestone. But unfortunately, if you want to get the 100 shards, you have to... So additional, like first, you were going to be getting to 83,000 for the, for the monthly items. But now you need to get to 140,000. So that's not a small big jump. jump. It's a big yeah. jump. Um, and you are looking at spending at least uh, 3,200 cores to do that. Okay. The g good news is there is going to be another event that starts a day later where you're going to be spending power cores anyway for energy. So I think a lot of people will likely spend that much anyway to at least get somewhat far in the lunar um, event. But unfortunately, you are going to be spending at least 3,200 cores to uh, unlock him. Okay, and yeah, that's if there's no other shards. For US Agent, they have been kind of sprinkling his shards all over the place. Hopefully they do that with Agent Venom as well. We just can't see anything on these charts that's showing Agent Venom popping up in the future. So uh, from what Scotty just said, when this event goes live on the 25th, don't empty your power cores to progress in this event. Wait until the 26th when the uh, Lunar Festival milestone starts. And then you're going to be doubling up, getting you know twice the effect from your power cores. Um, the, the final rewards of this Symbiote Sabotage Milestone. Uh, we got some 50 gold promos, 20 augmented syringes, that's gonna be your gear tier 17 uh, bio pieces, and an Elite 6 for 200,000. So it, it sounds like that would be about what, $100, $150 worth of cores to hit that part, also yeah. maxing out the Blitz part. Uh, I don't see the value in that. Look, there, there is some uh, L4 training modules, who cares? There seems to be about 5 million gold, um, 5 armory 17 orbs. That's not worth much. And then there's 2.5 million gold. And then, yeah, what kind of a value would you put on 50 gold promos, an Elite 6, and let's say 40 bio gear tier 7 pieces? Like I know it's not 150. So what do you think would be a more fair amount for an event like this? 50 bucks. 50 bucks. <laughs> All right, Scopely. I can get down with 50 bucks. I wouldn't spend it. But I think it would be more fair and burn out less people if you set more reasonable markers. So that's going to be it for the Symbiote Sabotage. Let's go talk about the Lunar Festival. That seems to be uh, an interesting event. And it's going to have an event store that kind of looks lackluster compared to the other ones we've had. All right, something me and Scotty uh, were talking about, or at least remembering when I was editing this video, is something to do with the Symbiote Sabotage event that we need to take into account and that is the war battles uh so to hit the numbers that we were talking about you do need to get your 14 war battles in how does that play out in competitive alliances or in non-competitive alliances where you're not buying your four attacks like how does that play out uh i mean to get the 14 i think you still need to buy four um to get 14 at the end yeah, yeah, yeah. um but then, I mean, for, for wars like ours, it depends who we're facing. Like, if we're going against Legion, Mutiny, Baby Yoda, we're not getting 14 attacks unless something has gone very wrong and yeah. we're, like, <laughs> down to the wire <laughs> or in risk of not clearing. But if we're against an alliance who is smaller than us and they're not going to clear us, we have the advantage of basically stopping with, you know, a couple teams left in a flight deck and having everyone throw one weak character at it to lose. Now, everybody has to be adults and not take out those teams accidentally, which sometimes happens, seeking. Um, but uh, that is the best way to get 14 attacks, and that's going to help you spend less cores. Like, it is still possible with only 10 attacks, and I think that is a reasonable number for 
the majority of other alliances and these can be losses so if you're losing like that's okay um because that still counts um but don't like lose on purpose in a, in a real war i guess <laughs> <laughs> and and don't back out uh like don't, yes don't back out yeah that will also not count so it, it's not great for the competitive scene i understand that it's a very small portion of the community uh but just for an example like if it was us versus mutiny and mutiny wanted to give their players an easier time on this event then we would beat them and if they wanted to do that i'm all for it i'm all for it guys give, give me that youtube video <laughs> let's let's make a deal <laughs> yeah i promise we'll abide by it i promise <laughs> So for this Lunar Festival, this does seem to be a, a big event for them. Usually when they have a leaderboard attached to it, it's a big event. We got a five-star Wong in here. We got Jubilee costume. We got character shards for Wong, Chi, and Colleen Wing. Dark promo credits as well. Silver promo credits. Nobody cares about silver promo credits anymore. Uh, teal, orange, and purple parts. Mostly care about those teal parts, right? So this event is going to be spend campaign energy, which you can double up your core spending on, and earn alliance credits. Now, these events with leaderboards, especially like the gold spending one we have now that have those level five T2 ions uh, for the giant amounts, it, it becomes very like Kraken auction housey kind of thing. Can we at least complete the milestones here without dropping a new mortgage or what's going on here, Scotty? I mean, you can complete it. I don't think it's a new mortgage level um, to complete it. Good. Progress. Um, I mean, you're going to be spending cores, um, but the good news is, like I said earlier, those cores will benefit you in the symbiote sabotage milestone as well. Um, so I guess it really depends kind of your balance between the two. Um, okay. But like, as you said, there are dark promo credits there, which is great. Um, this is also like if you're spending campaign energy, you're also potentially farming things you need anyway. So two birds, one stone kind of a thing. Okay. The the downside, you know, this is very similar to the gift wrap gala that they did back in December. Okay. And and it was exactly this of spending alliance credits, spending campaign energy. Back then, the earn alliance credits, each credit was worth 16 points and the spend energy was only worth 2. Ooh. They decided this time that the alliance credits would be worth 4. So okay. that's a lot less. And then the spend energy would be worth four as well. So a slight improvement on the spend energy, but a significant decrease in the alliance credits, which actually makes it harder to, to hit the, the number, which is basically um, 75,000 that you want to hit. Okay, so it makes it harder for sweaty alliances like us to get it easier because we would max out those five boxes, get those alliance credits pretty easily. But... Right. If you're one of those like solo players in a not so active alliance, this would actually benefit you a little bit more because your own spending campaign energy helps you better in this. Yeah. Okay. So what kind of numbers are we looking at for spending campaign energy over these seven days? So I factored in the bonus day because I think that is a smart way to think about it on that first day. Absolutely. So what that means is that you are going to save your donation until the event starts. So do not... Donate, do not claim your daily donation daily and the objectives. Don't collect any donation boxes because you need all of those ready to go. Okay. On the first day, do a 50 core donation because that's going to give you 50 alliance credits. Um, later, you're going to actually have to do 100 core donations after this day. But on this day alone, you only have to do the 50. Collect your daily donation objective and collect those five boxes because everyone in your alliance should be doing at least 50 cores that day um, to help out. Obviously, you know, in alliances where not everyone wants to do this, it may be harder for you to get that fifth box, but ideally you want to get that fifth box. Um, you want to start with your energy capped um, because I think that's really important in this to have as many basically energy as you can. Obviously, starting with seven days of web store energy saved is going to be hard because we're currently having to spend that um, on our current web milestone to finish it. But if you could ideally have at least five days saved, um, that is going to help you complete the event. Okay. Um, so that's like your bonus day. So then after that, for seven days, you need to do a hundred core donation um, to the Alliance. You need to collect those five donation boxes 
and you need to do four 50 core energy refreshes and uh and four 100 core energy refreshes oh, plus God. your web store energy every day and that is going to get you to exactly seventy five thousand. oh god scotty <laughs> this is not good for 99 percent of the population but if we can complete it doing that that is a lot more reasonable than the events have been in the past yes. so what what do you think is going to be a reasonable stopping point for most people half of that a little bit more that's still going to land you in the in the last 75 percent of the milestones at least i just i don't see a lot worth it in the earlier milestones is i guess is all i'm gonna say like okay. 100k gold 20 calling wing shards some silver yeah. promotion credits like for early players like a lot of people still need those silver promotion promotion credits um but otherwise it's just some superior uh catalysts like a lot of it is not stuff that people are biting the bit for i guess so i guess if you're not gonna want to get to those later milestones i'm not sure how much you're gonna want to put into this just for this event alone because it's really those later milestones with the gold promotion credits the dark promo credits those augmented focus catalysts which of course are the last milestone yeah, because they, they know are. that we need them yeah <laughs> um there is one point, you know, five uh, million gold. Um, if you add it all up, it's actually over two million gold. Where obviously a lot of people are gold poor right now um, after, after the current events. event. Yeah. So, like, I see it as something like if you have some cores um, and there's stuff you need to farm, this is a good time to do it because finishing this event, I think, will be beneficial. Now, maybe they'll have some really good deals that are actually cheaper than spending cores i don't know like i do have over like 10 case cores saved right now for something like this so i'll probably go just core on it um but like i think i i don't think i'd go crazy if you're not going to go all the way to the end because i don't think it's worth worth it at that point fair enough do you have the total core cost from doing the 100 uh, core donations and the 400 core energies on top of everything else no, because that would have been smart to do. <laughs> <laughs> so over seven days, if you're doing the 100 cores, and then you're doing... That's 400, 200 plus 400. 600 a day times seven is 4,200. Well, really, it's times eight. Because okay. you're doing it on the bonus day. So that is 5K cores. Okay, so about 5,000 cores to get this done, plus some coordination for your alliance. Now, if you do have, like, even half the people doing 100 core donations, you will get your fifth box. The fifth yeah. box is not as difficult to get. You don't need everybody on board. In fact, I believe if you have most people doing their 10K, and I think it's going to be eight people doing 100, I think every time you increase the cores, it takes away one person that needs to do it. You should be getting that fifth box, so maybe you and your alliance base can take turns doing that, though you will then be getting less alliance credits on the donation itself. Uh, but that could be a way to kind of take some of the pressure off. But yeah, 5K cores to get this done that's a lot uh it doesn't overlap the entire time with the symbiote web milestone because i believe that one is only no that one's also seven days so there's only one day missing yeah. from that so that'll get you pretty far along too so if there was an event to bust your cores on it's going to be these two while they overlap get yourselves the agent venom unlock get yourself those dark promos because that's the most important thing that's in this i think and the teal catalyst is very nice 200 Focus Catalyst is quite a bit. Um, can't say I'm in love with that event. But we also have uh, another thing that I believe feeds off this, right? Yes. So there's also an event store. And by spending campaign energy, you're going to earn the limited time currency, the red envelope. So while this event is happening, this Lunar Festival, you're coring your butt off to farm. You're going to be getting this currency. And you're going to be able to spend this currency on teal unique gear pieces. Young Avenger, A-Force, and Human Character Shards. Blech. T3 and T2 ability <laughs> materials. Take that shit out of the game. I'm so tired of seeing couldn't, that. As couldn't even anywhere. give us T4s. Couldn't, couldn't even, even give us T4s. Garbage. <laughs> and then, of course, and more. So hopefully that and more is actually something of substance. Because Tealini gear pieces is the only thing there that makes sense right now. Um, and and I, I believe that's it as far as the important uh, events of this week going on we talked about everything else so i guess we're gonna sign off here uh scotty thank you so much for everything that you do uh, do you have anything you want to say to people 
Uh, happy uh, Lunar Festival. Enjoy it. <laughs> there you go. All right, guys. Make sure you stay happy, healthy, and have fun. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.